My name's Terry, and the spiritual discipline that's been most important in my life is reverence. See, reverence is a respect, but not respect alone, but a deep regard and sense of awe and wonder for something. I had a friend in school who lived his life by this motto, anything for the sake of comedy. It was like he was warning us that at any given moment, anything could happen and anything goes. But as he began to attend church with us, I started to notice a change in him. But honestly, the biggest change I noticed was just that he had new material for his jokes. He didn't have a healthy understanding of who God was. And so he began to wear his faith, kind of like an accessory that he could take out and just kind of show off in extravagant ways. But here's what Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 12 about a healthy respect for our faith. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure brings forth evil. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. I love the imagery of the tree here and the idea that when we look at the fruit a tree produces, we can tell what's going on inside. So when we see a healthy fruit, we know that the tree is healthy on the inside. When we see a bad fruit, we know that it's not so great. And it's the same with us. Out of the abundance of our heart, the mouth speaks. So let's look at it this way. What I output isn't just how I earn a reputation with my friends, but it's an indicator of my heart and my relationship with God. It shows that we understand that we don't want to waste one careless word, but everything that we say honors and is pleasing to God. Now, going to church should never be a fad, but being a fully devoted follower of Christ means truly living out your faith. Now, reverence has gotten a bad rap where we believe that it means that you have to abide by a certain set of rules or you'll be punished. But it's actually an outer proof of an inner belief. After high school, I had an opportunity to catch up with my friend who had all the jokes, and it was awesome. He was actually excited to talk about God and about his faith. And he actually pointed back to the season in high school when he was miserable, because it was when he was telling all those jokes that he was really trying to gain the approval and maybe a few laughs from his friends. But he said he saw something different in one of our other friends in school. This guy had a real relationship with God. You could see a reverence and an awe for who God was and that God didn't have to be a punchline for one of his jokes. It was because of how that friend lived his life that everything changed for my friend with all the jokes. See, when we have a respect for who God is and how good God is and all that God has done for us, it changes our behavior. It changes who we are at our core. That is reverence. Now what I want everyone to do right now is just to break up into your small groups and I want you to discuss the importance that you place on God in your life.